Okay, so today, what I want to do is I want to take a look at Rain X again. Now, so what we're going to look at here, it's Rain X, pretty simple stuff. I've been getting a lot of condensation on my windows. I want to see if I can take care of that with this. You can use this to treat glass, uh, obviously your windshield, rear windows, stuff like that. Uh, but side windows, wintertime, a lot of you have probably experienced the, the mist kind of comes down, the snow, the <laughs> icy mixture, and that's just, it's a real issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to run through this, we're going to apply this, and we're going to see if essentially we get any better result on the side window. Now, this window hasn't even been cleaned yet, okay? So let's just say that right now. It's a dirty window, but let's go ahead and hit it with some basic water, okay? And let's see if it does anything. All right, there we go. So you can see we misted it up pretty good there. And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty easy to see uh, that the, the glass is, is covered. I mean, this is what happens when it rains. You get all this mist, you get all this water. Um, you might wonder, well, why didn't you use a hose to demonstrate this? A hose is like a, a, a deluge of water hitting your window, right? A spray bottle kind of represents that misty, particulate, kind of nasty rain that you get a lot in the winter. So let's say it's raining hard. Let's go ahead and do this. All right. Got some hard rain there. And uh, again, you know, it, it's just kind of <laughs> kind of misting up. It's not, not really looking all that great. Um, and I was going to demonstrate this on the front windows, but this one's probably the cleanest on the inside. I thought it would give us the, the best view. I can always redo this if I want to. But, yeah, obviously it's not, it's not going to do great. And this is with the window being dirty, okay? So what we're going to try here is we're going to go ahead and actually just wipe it down with paper towels. And then we're going to see if a clean window is any better. A window with no rain -X at all. So it's going to be probably a little wet. Probably going to have to you know, use a lot of paper towels, unfortunately, because these are also not the best paper towels in the world but uh you know let's go ahead and wipe that down a little bit more there we go okay that's a that's a start and uh i don't know if i'm gonna edit this down a whole lot or not but yeah i mean you could really get after this with some windex or something if you wanted to uh, you know in all honesty these back windows are not really that dirty so i'm not that worried about them uh, could they be a little bit cleaner? Yeah, they could, but, you know, a lot of it's going to be on the inside. Uh, so anyway, now let's try the spray bottle again, okay? Clean window. All right. There we go. And I'm going to say right now that <laughs> result does not look very different, at least in my opinion. I think it actually looks... Pretty similar. So let's go ahead and wipe this down again. Just get all that cleaned off as much as we can, anyway. Okay, again, we're going through paper towels because uh, <laughs> these paper towels are cheap. They're really cheap, and cheap paper towels are not not super absorbent. So if you're going to do this, hey, there's a little tip for you. Get some nicer paper towels. Anyway, um, yeah, it looks fairly clean. Uh, you know, again, water really did not roll off at all. We had pretty much the same result as we did before. So now let's look at the directions for the Rain X. Let's see here. Okay, directions. Uh, it is flammable, so you have to be uh, wary of that. Uh, anyway, clean and thoroughly dry surfaces. Plant temperature is above 40. It's above 40. Um, small folded dry cloth wipe onto exterior glass okay and then remove the haze so anyway like I said we're going to do that um, just so all of you can see this let's, let's actually get a kind of coverage here Spray this. Yeah, I got some overspray on there. I know. Not, <laughs> not a profound stuff smells strong. Um, also, do this in a well ventilated area. Okay. 
because uh, my garage is pretty spacious, so I'm not, not too worried about it. But I actually might crack a window really quick because that stuff smells super strong. Oh man, okay, yeah, let's, let's open a window. All right, <laughs> it's, it's a better idea. Do this in a well-ventilated area. Um, I wanted to have more consistent lighting, so I did it you know, in the garage. Again, make sure you're using a ton of ventilation, you're following all the safety procedures and, and protocols and all that stuff. And uh, it, it does look cleaner, I mean, I will say. It took some grime off. I should have washed this with Windex, but I figured we kind of haphazardly do it if you maybe don't have all the time in the world. And uh, yeah, I mean, this, this stuff is strong. It's, it smells really strong. So let's do it again. Spray that down. Wipe it in. You're not supposed to use it on plastic or anything. Um, so I am trying to avoid that as much as I can. But, uh, you know, again, it's not, not necessarily a perfect test. All right, so I don't know if that's residue from the Rain-X. I don't know if that's dirt that we're taking off. I feel like the window's not that dirty at this point. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this. There's a bit of a film that's left over. So I know they say that you can kind of buff that off with a rag. Um, using a microfiber that you throw away after you're done with this would actually, I think, be a good idea. We're just going to go at it with a paper towel. And uh, I just use the rest of these paper towels. If you buff it out and you really... <coughs> Man, this stuff is strong. If you put some elbow grease into it, it actually, it, it, it cleans up fairly well. You kind of feel there's like a bit of a non-stick kind of thing going on here. Now, let me check that. Yeah, it looks like a lot of it's off. Get the edges a little bit more. I will say also, I want to do this as one shot. Um, so I could kind of show, you know, there are no camera tricks or anything. Uh, there's the whole roll of paper towels that I just used. Cheap, cheap paper towels. Walmart paper towels. Not the greatest. So let's let's consult the uh, instructions again. Allow to dry. The haze appeared. We pretty much rubbed it in. And uh, again, you know, we we could say, well, maybe it didn't dry completely. Well, we did two passes. So I think that's going to be adequate. Let's see if it does anything. All right, we got our spray bottle again. Okay. So actually, we can already see a bit of a difference here. And, okay, actually a lot of what I'm seeing um, so I'm seeing a lot less pooling of water. You can actually see the water. Let's get a different spray pattern here. A lot of it's just running off. Now, you know, you're going to be looking at this and you're going to say, what about, you know, all, <laughs> all of this that's still on there? And, and yes, there, there is going to be some on there. Thing is, when you're driving, and I haven't tested this yet, so I'll, I'll test it later, a lot of the, you know, wind, the air, is going to take a lot of that off. So, at first glance, before I review the footage or anything, do I think this looks better? Uh, I actually do. I, I do think it looks better. And I think that if we even just spray, let's see if we can get a, an angle here on this. If we spray this, this window right here, let's try that. Okay. I think that actually shows pretty well what I'm talking about. We'll see if you guys see the same thing. Okay, 
let's get up close on that. So you can see here on this window, a lot of large drops, right? And on this one, a lot of the larger, heavier drops just rolled right off. So I'm going to be honest with you. I, I probably should have let it dry a little bit more, but I think actually from that just sort of being a basic preliminary test. And again, I'm, I'm going to test this out. I'm going to see how it works um, when driving and stuff like that. I actually don't think that's that bad. I, I actually think that's um, okay. You know, is, is it great? No, it's not. It's not like it's going to keep all the water off completely, but, um, you know, if you've had issues with snow and ice, especially ice storms, um, I do think it's actually something that could help. So I'll try it out a little bit longer and work on it and we'll see. So anyway, thank you for watching. A quick rain -X test there. Let me get this, uh, this bad boy out here again. That's the product right there. Uh, water repellent just bought it on Amazon super widely available. Make sure you have good ventilation because uh, it's, it's strong. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.